Welcome everyone! Today I decided to review and talk about a video game called Unravel. For those of you who have not played it, it is a puzzle platform by a Swedish company, Coldwood Interactive. It was published by Electronic Arts in 2016. Um, if you haven't played a puzzle platformer game before, I think you'd really enjoy this. If you have played puzzle platform games before, it might feel a little repetitive because even though the story is charming, the graphics are outstanding, they don't really introduce anything new that other puzzle platformers haven't done before. I personally really enjoyed it. You play the character of a yarn doll from that was created from a family and you're collecting the lost memories that they are looking for and missing in their scrapbook. There's torn pages and each level is a memory that the family has had as they've grown up, as time has gone past, people have died, you know, maybe some people have moved away. It's very heartfelt because it tells a story that I think a lot of people can relate to. And of course, the yarn doll is just adorable. <laughs> we don't know if it's a he or a she, it's just a gender neutral yarn doll. <laughs> As you progress in each of the levels, you slowly start to unravel. So hence the name Unravel. At each point, it's like a save point, you see a bundle of yarn and that yarn is used to replenish the yarn doll and then you can continue. It's very linear, there isn't uh, any like forward or backward motion, you're moving across the screen, you're using a yarn doll lasso that he throws to attach yourself to various pieces, twigs, pulleys, buckets, whatever it is to continue on in the level and you're collecting uh, little items on the way. But the main part of each level is to collect the memory, which is made out of yarn as well. If you like achievements, there's actually quite a few challenging achievements that you can try to get as you progress through the game. Things like lassoing multiple times through the branches and never touching the ground um, and fun little kind of extra achievements like that. I personally, I love getting those little extra achievements so it was a lot of fun for me. The graphics literally look like someone took a photograph and then just turned it into a game. It's beautiful, stunning images, lots of depth, lots of color, um, gorgeous ambient sounds and music. Just overall, it's very enjoyable even just to watch. Now, this game got some mixed reviews. Some people said, you know, it's trying too hard. Some people said it's charming, but there's no depth to the story. There's no dialogue. There's no background. It's very abstract. Um, so I think it depends on kind of what you appreciate. I really like graphics. I really don't care too much for character development if it's something like a, a yarn doll. You know, you really don't need to explain more. I get it. Uh, you don't have to tell me why it's you're going on this magical adventure. I mean, you're, pl you're playing a yarn doll, you know? <laughs> there doesn't need to be much backstory or explanation. There are some levels that uh, are kind of odd where you're in like toxic waste and garbage and and you're kind of wondering why you're even going through this kind of environment when all the other places are gorgeous and beautiful uh, with water and sand and beaches and uh, flowers. So I thought that area was a little bit odd and kind of didn't match the story of of what was going on but I understand that they needed to include something that was different from just having nature elements in each level uh, I guess just to kind of spice it up a bit. There are some points and levels that are a little frustrating because how they've developed it they decided 
okay, this is the way you have to do it exactly with this timing and these steps in order to pass. And that frustrated some people because if they couldn't, you know, click the button fast enough or run fast enough or, or do it exactly how they have had it timed in the game, you die. And there is a little bit of backtracking when you recover. There's there's no lives, there's nothing like that. You just die and then you get refreshed to the last bundle that you got replenished at and you continue on and you try and try and try again. Um, things like water or birds can kill you, uh, you can get crushed, but there's, there's a lot of really cute elements of like sliding down ice and uh, grabbing onto to branches to reach up to a little kite and go flying and maneuver the kite through the forest. There's a lot of really cute um, and exciting moments in the game. So I, I definitely think that reviewers were way too harsh and you can tell that they, they spent a lot of time and love into this game. So I'm very excited to see what other games they come out with. Overall, I would rate this a 9 out of 10, partially because it is so inexpensive, so <laughs> why, why, why not go out and play and try it? And not a perfect 10 out of 10 because there, there was nothing new, nothing innovative, uh, but it was still quite a refreshing game. Uh, and I just, thinking about it now... You can appreciate that it's glitch-free, super smooth, the graphics are outstanding, but beyond that, you just need a little, need a little extra oomph for it to <laughs> take it to the next level. So the game is called Unravel. I believe it's on PlayStation, Xbox One, and a Windows if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to check out my other videos.